Daisy Chai from Events with Charlie and today I'm going to give you my review on the newest Netflix animated film Animal Crackers. It's about a little boy I called Owen who who's grew up who used, used to lo love the circus but now Owen has to work for, for his wife's fault of the first dog biscuit eating business this one one day at the funeral of no no of her his his uncle cool he, he was given some animal crackers which actually does turn him into animals and uh, Every time he eats an animal one, um, he he turns, he gets a human cracker which can turn him back to a human. But, but but one one of the old owners of the circus wants the animal crackers, cause to to rule his circus. Cause so. I think we all know the production history of this movie, of all the changes and just for release dates. But at least it finally gets released. The script was, was last Friday. And, and after all those release date changes, the film turned out to be okay. Nothing good, nothing bad. But I can't really say it's terrible. It is an okay movie. There's nothing really good about it, but there's nothing really bad about it. It for the characters, Horatius Owen is when it's got the one of my fate a great eight main character as he but. Uh, and he has to, has to find his new the role of owners of the circus. Because when he is give, given the animal crackers, when he's given the crackers, because he is given a nice role as a good lead, but uh, sometimes he can put, times, times he can, and be a, be a bit like a, a jerk, like, uh, so, like a first came uh, and more about his, out his, his wife's that wife's dad's job of instead of going to the circus, you know he hates it. That that Zoe, we he used like to be an interesting character, so for being being the wife, I, I follow him. Yeah, well, you lose that pretty fast. There's there's barely anything in interesting when it comes um, to her. Angel is the kid, which I had hopes for her, but she's just typical and cool kid. Kid, it who gets who's always happy and PM can sometimes get a bit on the nerves. Chesterfield's an okay character, but it's Dan the Vito playing Dan the Vito. There's really nothing new about it. 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 Not to mention that he's doing the same role as he did last year's Dumbo with that the Dumbo remake. And then there's the villain of the feature, Horatio, who is who out of all the villains this year. He has got to be the most boring and unoriginal. No. What? He wants to to find the, the, this object. X. Haven't seen that before. He wants to use them so he can rule the world. Haven't seen that before. At the end, let's just uh, say... Hey, he uses the cr says the up mm, say hey with the we haven't seen that before or for him but there are some good things 
to say about the characters. For example, the actors did a really good job. Oh, seriously. I remember some, the two of them from Disney films like Aladdin and Toy Story. We, well, the others do a great performance, like Danny the Beetle or Emily Blunt. And Hunter and everyone else. What I'm trying to say about the characters is that, that their, their acting's nice. Just wish we had more, more to know about them. With the, with the story. I mean, it's kind of basic when you think about it. There's really nothing thing going on with the story. I mean, it's very, very unoriginal. Like, you haven't seen in that before. Or, because it's, it's similar to other circus movies. These, like, like dumb, unborn and one elephant's journey. The only thing I do say is original is that I don't think I've seen the circus movie so far to have this special object that can can help save the circus. Okay, maybe with Dumblebee, but he isn't an object. He's an elephant. He's a being, not like a unanimous object. Like, stay still. Like, uh, uh, when you don't touch him, like this, or like food for that matter. Which, which you can describe. This is unique and new, but it really doesn't offer much. Sometimes the humour can be funny, as I did find myself laughing at a few of the jokes. But given that I just said a few, and by a few I mean there's barely any joke, jokes that are, are over, uh, uh, hilarious. Anyway, the story isn't anything in bad, it's just really unoriginal, you know, unpredictable. But the animation has got to probably be the best thing about this movie. It offers a nice new, new take and offer, offers some creative visuals. Sure, the back Acrons are nothing new with a circus environment that we've seen before. Or they make it, make it very interesting, like like some something out of the ordinary, which is also creative. But the, where, the, where the animation really shines is when Owen eats the animal crackers. Every time he turns into an animal, it they, it's very creative as there's a bit of sparkle that helps him him do it. With pl plus, it does us work in a few scenes. Like if you watch the movie, there is this one scene being that actually has a plan and and that to turn into one of the animals. I won't spoil it. So overall, is it a group? Is it a great film? No. But is it a bad film? Not really. It's kind of hard to say. A Animal Crackers is a film. Oh, that's not good, but not bad either. While this story and most of the characters aren't anything interesting, at least some of the act actors did a good job, and the animation is really nice and creative. It's hard to see a recommendation, shown only if you're interested in circus movies, then you're most likely in what like this one. It is a pretty enjoyable movie. Other than that, there is another circus movie with animal, most, most coming out on Disney Plus next month, so, so just stick with that one, because um, it looks a, looks a lot times better, a lot better. As for the rating, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna give it a 5.5 out of 10. Nothing terrible, but but it could have been a bit better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.